Long story short, you can Google it. Everybody Google Kenny Burns and Sean Combs uh, compound. It was everywhere. So long story short, he ended up offering me a job. The, he's a very smart man. He, yeah, because uh, why am I going to have you doing what you're doing and you could just be doing it for me? Like, but, but, but instead, he had to go through the... the, the it was almost... I'm not going to say city college because people lost lives, but it was almost, you know, God rest the dead, but yeah. it was almost chaos. Like, because it was 5,000 people in this club. It's us. Everybody's waiting for the, and I'm like, yo. So anyway, long story short, he came back to me about two weeks later, offered me a job. I said no. He then later on offered me a job to run Revolt with Andre Harrell, our father. Wow. Um, and so we end up kind of getting it back together. And I end up doing Ciroc, Apple, the launch of Deleon, so forth. But anyway, I had made my bones in Atlanta being the influencer of influencers. And it grew into an opportunity. And this is ironic. I was leaving Combs, Wine, and Spirits. I went to go do Revolt. He moved me to Combs, Wine, and Spirits. It wasn't moving the way I wanted it to move. And two months after I left, I moved back to Atlanta and... A guy I had met one time in my life was so impressed with the conversation he had with me on a golf course, which I don't See, play. Look at that one impress. That's I, I tell people the first impression. One golden. golden. And so he said, "You got to meet this lady by the name of Fawn Weaver. We just did a raise for this whiskey brand, and you you seem like you can help it go to the next level." I said, what is the story? He told me the story. I was like, I'm in. Yep. Say less. Yep. That's so, how I felt when Jay told me the story. And yeah. she didn't even have the full story. She was just like, listen, it's a slave. It's Fawn Weaver. And I was like, sold. <laughs> no, it, it, was, it was almost spiritual. It was almost reparations for me and everything I had been through making money for other people. It was... Right. It was spiritual. I mean, I went, I, first of all, Fawn is my, everybody knows how I feel about Fawn. Everybody's seen us in every, which, from the breakfast club to whatever together. But I think that when I met her, I was at a point in my life, like I, I never walked to, to Brooklyn for cheesecake. I never did anything outside my comfort zone where my tech integrity was, you know, put on in jeopardy. And I feel like God told me to leave and I met her. Like I yeah. literally, at her and yep. all that time before I'm making all this money. I mean, one year Grey Goose gave me a credit card with a million dollars on it, told me to go. Can and somebody do give that to me? I Yo, that's told crazy. Me to go do activations. <laughs> Big shout out to Chauncey Hamlet. Told Amy, <laughs> they told me to go do Drake's tour. They told me to go do all these things. And Javelin, uh, I think Javelin was the agency back then, but. I, you know, I did all these things for these people, made all this money. We went up 498% in Atlanta when they gave me that opportunity with Greg Goose. God damn. I mm, that's good. You know, you go through these things and you learn, like, these people don't want to help you. They don't, they want to use you. I just yeah. said the CEO of Global LVMH and the CEO and president, that's Philippe, the CEO of Global, and then I forgot Scott or whatever his name was. Um, and no disrespect if he's actually on here. I, I, I have a lot of things on my mind, but I sat with them. I sat the I sat with them the other morning, two weeks ago at breakfast. of Barney's here, and they wanted to know how they could actively give back to the community. I said, give ownership to motherfuckers. I was like, Nah, Nah should have had Hennessy Black, right? You could have gave him Hennessy Black. You could have gave him points. So, yep. long story short, Fawn Weaver. Um, and Nas doesn't even know I spoke up for him. But I speak up for culture when they're not in the room. That's why I'm the GOAT. But, but guys, you hear this, though? Speaking up for culture when they're not in the room. But on top of that, work yeah, for tonight, ownership, ownership. Ownership. And so me and Fawn Weaver was that opportunity. And I want everybody to know, I asked Fawn Weaver for 10% of Uncle Nears. I was like, I can get you popping. Yo. She told me, she said, I do not have 10% to give you, but I have something that will make you happy. I understand. She always got something to make me happy. She, she is, that is, she is. No, she is, she's different. She's younger than me. She's like, different. But she's so been here before. Yeah. But women are maternal. You guys are way more mature than we are. Uh, at the ages, if, if we were the same age, a little, you guys are still 
We'll save the planet. I'm happy, I'm happy men can recognize that. I'm so happy men can recognize that. I've been married 23 years this year. It would not have right? been. Right? Congratulations. That's a huge feat. That is amazing. Amen. Amen. Amazing. And still love her like I did the first day. So my, but my thing, about, I think people don't realize you got to say what you want. You got to put out there what you want. I have never had ownership in anything. I made millions and millions of dollars for people. I mean, look at my walls. I have every every bit of anything I've been- Branding out there. Right? But I think what people don't realize is, and I'll take it by for the people that are happy court followers, but I don't think people realize you got to put out in the universe what you want to happen. You can't is, expect- You guys are watching a whole, a whole thing right here. Like, yeah, you, you can't expect people Look at Kanye, LeBron James. You can't, Quincy Jones. You can't expect people to know what you want. You can't expect yeah. people to read your mind. You can't expect people to just immediately, you know, hear you and and, and, and respect you and see your superpower or know what yeah. you, you know, you can't expect that. You gotta yeah. fucking do the work and you gotta put yourself out there. And you, you got as, as you said, you ask for what you want, you know. Yes. It's, yes. it's all about asking and you could even if you don't get it in the, the first time around, but you ask and you and I'm a firm believer in manifesting what you need and what you want. And so for me, I'm always like, This is what it is, I'm gonna go at it and I'm going to sometimes to the point where I'm like, No, it's happening, it's going to happen. Yeah. Um, like this. I was like at some point, it's gonna happen. It's just it's gonna happen at the right time. Um, because I'm a firm believer that you want something bad enough, you go for it. And what you have to lose, you have one life to live. Listen, let me tell you one thing true wealth is being in control of your time, and we all know we don't have no time to waste. And yep. another thing about time is that what you do with the time will define your time here. People don't realize that. That's true. I listen to you dropping bombs. I feel like I That's need like true. A, a gem dropper thing. <laughs> bam, 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 bam. Cause that was yes, yes. People yeah. don't realize you have time is something. It's just so valuable. It's just like you, you, you gotta make sense of it while you're here. Cause trust me, we, and especially now seeing how fragile life is with the pandemic with everything we've experienced in the past two years you know things that you just never would have expected or thought would have happened in our life especially if I, I never thought a whole panasonic would have happened in my lifetime i was just like did you say no, did you panasonic i said panasonic a whole panasonic in my lifetime <laughs> never would have expected it and then it hit and then i was like wait a minute this is really happening. Yeah. And two but, years but, in, it's really still happening. And so many people have lost lives. So many people have, you know, b wishing their entire life to like retire next year and then they lose their life because of COVID. Yes. So life is so short. I'm so happy to see this pandemic has opened so many doors for so many people that I'm seeing people that are like, nope, I'm doing this beautiful candle business. I'm doing this amazing, you know, people are now starting to realize, I'm hoping, don't that it's about to, you live, you have to live. Don't, don't tell Jessica I showed y'all this, but my wife has a new candle coming out with the 125th collection. Ooh! Don't tell her I showed you guys. Everybody keep it quiet, don't say anything. Oh, it's beautiful! No, but to, to your point though, sis, at the end of the day, that's why the pandemic was so good for a lot of us, right? And this is, yep. I, I, I spent, I spent $75,000 of my money to invest in this company in the pandemic because they reminded me of myself and Jessica. I, when I, first of all, the cream is unmatched. It is the best yep. cream for Wait, in the me, world. Wait, I'm gonna open up my bottle. I have a nice cold bottle. I'm gonna open mine up. So, okay, so quick trick, guys. So no, so that you guys, for those tuning in, I just wanted to show my trick real quick. So, you know, to open up a bottle is pretty simple. You hold this part, not the bottle top. You hold this part and you just twist it. Normally it works. Normally it works. Yeah, so. Whole thing is off. That, I want to address that. 
I hope y'all <laughs> see that. You will be able to twist the cap, but a lot of people, <laughs> we've had some cap issues, but that doesn't have anything to do with the juice. That's okay because it all it came out perfectly. See? No, it's fine. Yeah, it's fine. But I, the only complaint I've ever had with with LS is our caps. We yeah. are in the process of fixing that, but that is the best advice I've ever seen. Yes. Is take it from the bottle. So thank you for that. Yeah. But I want to say I want to. Congo B actually took the words out of my mouth. The reason is because one, they reminded me of Jess and I. Two, it's the best cream liqueur I've ever tasted. Yeah. In this bottle, now mind you, let's do a little let's do a little history. Oh, I have the old bottle I was gonna bring out too. So, you know, but so you got it. Of yep. course, when I saw this bottle, I'm like, Laverne and Shirley. Immediately, immediately. And, and okay, I'm never gonna take that out of my mind. Laverne and Shirley. I, I when I saw it, I was like, but the bottle is fucking The bottle is so <laughs> sexy, guys. Guys, look at the bottle. I was like I saw Laverne and Shirley, but then yeah. I was like, the bottle is it's the best bottle I've ever seen in spirits. And I've worked for the biggest brand. Yep. So how we got to this is that we talked about some of the things that were not on the bottle, right? Yes. Immediately, you see that you just have the LS Cream Liqueur. Yep. When you look at the repackaging, you see you have the effigy and representation of the Haitian culture. You yep. see on the back, you have the triumphant palm that represents. Which is, I love, I love, I love this. This yes. embossing, I don't know if you guys can see it. But the embossing, yeah, see it? Yeah. Tonal, the tonal black triumphant palm also and has. And this is, this is from Haiti. This is their entire statement, so. It's on, it's on the, on the, on the Haitian flag and it totally is their statement. And, and I want to say something about this logo. We went through several rounds of trying to take it from the Vern and Shirley to this. And this logo said pride to me. It said yeah. pride. And you might not know this, but because I've been popping for a long time, but I really found my tribe during COVID. During COVID, I found my tribe. Now, I've had the same friends and family for 30 years. Yeah. You know, 30 plus years. But I found my I found like-minded thinkers, you know, the things that I love to do, um, whether it was political conversations or travel, we, we shared this likeness. Yeah. Represented my, like, a, it, it felt tribal. And when I put but it... You know, it also, I have to say, too, because I, like, I know the old bottle and, like, like the back of my hand. Um, but this actually also has a bit of Penny Burns element in there too. Well, I think it's branding. I think it, it, no, it is. It definitely. I think you took. I think it's beautiful because you took the elements from the original LS Queen and what Stevens and Miriam created, and there is a Penny Burns touch also, which is nice because you are a part of it now. So I think it, it definitely speaks to who the brand is. Um, I love it. I love the new bottle. And, and, I, and again, you know, the thing we had to do, because we had an agreement between Stevens, Miriam, and Fawn and I. Like, I couldn't go crazy until we reached <laughs> the it done, right? And so it's so funny, and Miriam and Stevens will tell you this too. During the year, I would do these lives. And I would, I would be drinking, the, you know, the LS cream, and I'd be on my live. We went up from couple from wow. the previous year, right? And now that I mean, we're almost sold out in the country, like from this new, but 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 I'm gonna tell you, it's the juice. Like this it's is the juice. It's without, the juice. without question, without question, Miriam and, and Steve has created an amazing liquid and had the best bottle. Let's just take Laverne and Shirley off, but they had the best bottle in. Yeah. The we together with you know with our creative partners came up with this amazing packaging, right? And they didn't listen. Get out the name. When I say that, that Stephen and I don't know about Miriam as much as Stephen, but when I say he almost tattooed this on his face, like he was so attached. No, no, this, this was the, this was their bottle. Yes. This was, this was their bottle, but and. I 
No, if you have an unopened bottle of this, keep it. It will be worth the money one day. I do have one. I save one because, for sure, I like to save all of our, like, bottles that I have that are limited edition. We're not going to cut. They're not coming into the store again. So I save a bottle of the original one. Um, so I have that for sure. Uh, oh, oh, and one, like, another thing. Make sure you save your Uncle Nearest bottles with the Dan Call Farm House on them. They are no longer being made ever again. So if you have any Uncle Nearest bottles with the Dan Call Farm on it, specifically if you have some 1820, they're gonna you're gonna start seeing them on the internet for like 1500, 2000. It's gonna grow because wait, you, is it does it have to be empty or full? Has to be full, unopened. I mean, yeah. Of course. Oh, you're gonna let I don't have any. Goddamn. Like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I cannot keep Uncle Nearest on the shelves. Yeah. We're, we're coming back. And everyone knows that, you know, we've been selling out everywhere. There was a glass shortage. Yeah. But it, it was opportune for us because we're rebranding the bottles. Uh, the, the packaging, the bottle would be the same. Yep. We are repackaging, so that's all coming. But yeah, yeah. yeah. The problem is if you got in. So if you're on this live and you were mad at me for not getting a bottle of Uncle Nearest, you heard why. I have people in my DMs like, hey, this came in, because we literally got in 30 bottles. They were like, sometimes you cannot get, and the distributors are sick of me, because I'll be like, so I'm getting 10 bottles, 10 cases. I don't care. I'm right. getting 10 cases. Right. And they were like, no, we're only giving you five. So we got it in, and I was so reluctant to post it because I knew some people were waiting. So I sent them DMs like, hey, I got it in, but you got to run. You got to run. I posted it, and within two days, done. Listen. Done. Listen, and, and the beauty of even with, with LS, and big shout out to the nation members on here, you know, I don't just talk a good game. I give opportunity. And I have yeah. several people that have been, you know, been on the ground with, with LS and in doing these tastings and they sell out every time. Yep. Everywhere the nation goes and yep. sell, where the team goes, Miriam, anybody goes, sell out. It sells out because guess because what? Because once you try it, and I'll give you a quick backstory on how it even got in here. So I, I don't know if I reached out or Miriam reached out on IG. One of us, we connected. And I was like, oh, I want to try it, but at the time they had no distribution yet. So she was like, I'm going to send you a couple of bottles. She sent me the bottles. I think I got them in like two days. And we tried them here, and everyone was like, this is amazing. We got to get it in. And I was like, okay, guys, I'm working on it. I'm working on it. And I think maybe the next month she was like, hey, so good news. We have distribution. And it was in the store the next day, and we have been backing this brand from the yeah. time Miriam and I met. Yes. Okay, it was on IG, but we met because we connected, and then we eventually met. But we connected, and that's honestly for me, I think like family throughout this industry, I've created such a dope family. It's just been incredible. Yeah, Miriam is a superstar. I keep telling her to get out of her comfort zone. Uh, she has the most amazing skin in real life. Yeah, she does. Um, she's, she's a superstar and I keep telling yeah. her and you know but they make the perfect team you know Stevens my brother from another mother this man yeah. Yeah. Gonna dot them eyes and cross them T's you better but, you but better. it's just you know I, I try to tell everybody you know my mentees as well as my partners you know you know it's timing you know one thing you can't do in life is make time is. you have you have to be ready you have to be ready when the opportunity avails itself and they've been ready and it's proof in what's going on you when you look at the growth i mean i I'm, I would probably argue to say by the summer we might even pass what we did all last year you know what i you mean will. Not by the next quarter you will you, yeah. will. you absolutely will but but they're getting on the road I mean, Stevens and Miriam stay on the road. God bless my niece and my nephew, because I know they'd be like, Mommy, Daddy. We you know need what, though? Cause, so I, Because I have two kids, too, so we always talk about it, like, just, like, how hard it is to just be, you know, you want to be this, like, super entrepreneur, but then you're also like, yeah, but I'm a mom. So for 
us, we always connect on like how the kiddo is doing. And, and, and so I commend them for being able to push this brand. And one of the reasons why I have fallen in love with them is because, as you said, of who they are. They are the dopest team. They are ride or die for each other. Like it is family that is family. That when you see a beautiful family, that is family. That so. that's what, again one of the things that sold me. I, I'm telling everybody too. I'm be you know I don't give a fuck. But I literally sent money. I never met them in my life. In my life. When you go on faith, because you knew. You no, knew. but you see people. That's. You know. God gave me one ability that I think is my superpower, and I see people, good or bad. Yeah, yeah. I see people, and I think that when you look at what you just said about family, that's what it's about. When you see somebody that, because I wish some people would have gave me and Jessica financial support in our dream or dreams in the past, right? I mean, we're blessed with shit. No one gave us nothing, right? I know, me too. <laughs> nothing. And I want everybody, all the entrepreneurs on here, Somebody paying you for a service is not giving you nothing. They're not giving you shit. You're earning that. Yep. You are, you are, you are your weight and goal in that relationship. And that's yep. how you attack life. Not to be rambunctious or disruptive in a weird or dis dysfunctional way, but be disruptive and rambunctious for your benefit and your growth. You can do that. I'm in a situation, do, right? Do, 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 do. See, that's the gems dropping. I'm dropping the gems. <laughs> yeah, I can't help myself. But I'm in a situation right now where... I could give everything away I've learned. And I want to. I don't yeah. want I don't want to hold the distributor back, the manufacturer, the secrets. Uh, Cause guess what? And y'all gotta remember this. No one can do what you do like you do. Like you. Yep. I tell people all the time. Yep. But but the fact that you gave them the information, they can never ever say you didn't. They can never ever say you didn't try. Or yep. that you didn't help them in some way in their life. And that's yep how community is built that's how you are are blessed and you you receive blessings you bless others it doesn't matter i don't give I, and everyone who knows me knows i don't give a fuck i, I strangers rent they can call they can ask me for reservation kenny can you help me get reservations at breakfast at barney's i will go if i if i see it in time i will do that see but that's my problem though like that is me and that is the problem because sometimes I don't have like the bandwidth sometimes to be like, listen, because no lie, I will be the one that people will call for like the smallest to the biggest things. And it's like somebody will call me and be like, so you did an IG live with Mary J. Blige. Can you get her to da -da 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 send me a shout out at the Super Bowl? Like, yeah. You know, yeah. Can, so, can, I, can, I, can I teach you one thing? Please do. It's okay to tell people what you won't do and can't do. Yeah, and, but I feel, sometimes I feel bad, though. But, it, but it's, for someone to ask you to meet Mary J. Blige is asinine. That's like... No, and, for, that, for that person, it's not. No, but it is. In real life, it is. And they can't think that that's okay, that you didn't do something that you probably wouldn't be able to do or couldn't do anyway. Exactly. Her, this, this, this is the thing, and I, and I, I, I keep it one Wow, wow. Uh, cheers. We didn't do cheers. our virtual cheers. Cheers. Let me, I got to get my, babe, can you bring me a glass of LS? Oh, these are our new cups for everybody that's tuning in. These are our new cups. Dope. We love them. It says all things happy, so. Hold on, I got a screen. Babe, can you, can you bring me a glass of LS? I love it. <laughs> so, so, love so it. but what I'm saying is, is like, it's okay to be honest. Like, yeah. During the pandemic, that's what I'm trying to say. I found my tribe. We had some uncomfortable moments. I had to say a few things. I had to call a few people out. Not in a, I'm going to destroy you with words, and I'm a Scorpio. I could. But in a way. Ooh, Scorpio. But in a way where people have to understand, like, yeah. I'm human too. I have yeah. family. I have responsibilities. But I'm going to do my best. And what I'm here for, though, is when I go live or when I show up in front of you, I'm going to give you the best information I can give you. I'm going to give you the best time I can give you. And that has to be enough. I hear that, Kenny. I hear that. That is golden rules. However, be enough. sometimes it just doesn't work out like that because, you know, people just, 
sometimes are like very hard. Well, some, some, some people <laughs> don't. Especially don't being a black owned business. I'm some, not going to lie. Being a black owned people. business, it's definitely like, because for us, and that's one of the things that we do here, I will literally go out and seek these brands and most of the time there's no distribution. I will help you find distribution. I will do the groundwork for you. I will put everything together, all the pieces for you. And I do that with all other parts of the business and with my personal and, uh, and everything else. So I think sometimes being a black owned business, there's a lot of pressure um, that's put on a black owned business to be like, well, you need to be doing da 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 to do this, to do oh. that. Boundary, boundaries, if you don't create them, there will be none. Yeah. yeah. Boundaries. And, and, and the bottom line is you're a black woman. You're an entrepreneur. You're already getting put in a, in a box of what, and, and you feel like you have to over, you do not. First of all, black women will save the planet. There's no question about it. And you, you, need, to be, you need to be grandma when you respond to the motherfuckers. Give them the information on why, one, you shouldn't be asking me that. Two, I'm not yeah. mad at you, but know that you're not going to ask me that question again. Or yeah. this is how you're going to treat me because this is the service I give. I've seen several times as I've looked in the comments talking about Happy Corks customer service. Yes. The real no. So that We, but, got, we got a team like no other. But that, my, my team point. is bomb.com. But, that, but that's my point. You can't worry about the minutia, the small... You know what I mean? Grumpy motherfuckers that's going to be grumpy regardless. Yeah. And guess what? And guess what? We're true. still here to serve you, but grumpy motherfuckers, yep. you got to go over there. You got to go over there. Because if you don't give grumpy... Well, we will still serve you and do it like in the best no, we, way ever. We, but... we always going to show up with love because yeah. you yeah. are. But we're yeah. not going to deal with your grumpiness. I don't want to be grumpy. Yeah. Grumpy was my outfit. <laughs> Y'all heard that. <laughs> Grumpy ruins my outfit. I'm going to put that on a t-shirt. Yep. Grumpy ruins my outfit on the back. Stay happy, my friends. Stay happy. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good merch it. right That's there. Court. That's what Everybody, drop the hearts. Drop the hearts. Because that was... That That's the new slogan. Watch. Watch. Listen, are you going to come in? And I'll give you 10% on the little t-shirt business. <laughs> that, look, I give away this shit every day. Ask, ask the nation. By the way, so so listen. What about your your clothing line? I see the be the amazing stuff that you're doing. What's going on with that? Tell everybody where they can get it from, because I want to know. Don't don't get them cussing me out, child. Oh, okay. I haven't been able to put. I have. <laughs> she said, "Okay, <laughs> sips drink." I haven't been able to put anything out because I've been overwhelmingly busy. My son, who's con my son's whose concept it is. You know, one's about to graduate high school, one's in college. So I can't, Jessica and I need help. So we're trying, we were actually trying to find a creative director to yeah. kind of come in and help us. But it's coming. We have a new Puma shoe coming out in July. You know what? Congrats on that. You got to look at the screen really quickly. I'm about okay. to show Nation. You know, nice, I can't go nice. I'm come about on. to show Just you the quickly, shoe. Quickly, do not blink. Do not blink. Because we're care. about to see exclusions. See how I'm looking. I love the fact that Happy Pork has exclusiveness. All Enjoy. right, we're doing it fast. Whoever screenshots this is going to hell. Do not screenshot. Maybe, but don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's already captured. The new yes. Puma guys. New Puma. That is so all you too. Yeah. Puma. Okay, I'm. That's my pair. That's that's my pair. I didn't see anything. I didn't see anything. <gasps> that might be my other pair too. Um. Oh, and, oh, 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 guys, guys. Okay, we didn't see a thing. Listen, Happy Park Tribe. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Uh, the nation people of nation, you didn't see anything? Can I wait? Yo, okay, it's dope. It's dope, I'm not going to lie. Beautiful. Fire. Absolute fire. Um, everybody, you're going to pop it when it comes out because we don't know what it looks like, but 
Mm-hmm. When it, Puma, when yo, those are fire. Out, everybody better run. Run. Don't walk to get it. Please. <laughs> yep, run. Run like that. Like that. that Insane bold speed. Beautiful. Yellow is my color and so is orange. And oh, pink. listen. Listen. Like color, all of my favorite Yellow is color. my favorite the color, color from all of your baby. favorite colors in the Sherbert rainbow. It's yes. so yes. summertime. It's so crazy. Oh my god. Okay, well I'm excited. I'm excited. And so you guys know if um if you're in the area, they need a creative director because um I want the clothing line to come out. It's a little selfish of me because I've seen you advertise it. And yeah, it needs Thank to come out. Thank you, babe. It needs to come out. Oh, this was so great. Oh wait, I didn't I didn't we didn't chairs. We didn't chairs. Yes! <laughs> I don't have anybody I can call like that. Where? Hey! Nobody's <coughs> coming. Just me. <laughs> you know what? We'll walk together into the kitchen and then we'll end, end, the to- end with the toast. Oh, uh, yeah, we'll do that. Oh, and also, so you guys know, everybody tuning in, we also opened up a new space in December called Happy Buds. Ah, Happy Buds? Happy Buds, and it's a CBD and a wellness experience. So everything about Happy Pork is brought into the CBD and wellness world. So everything from cooking to body butters to skincare to pre rolls to flour to gummies to all of that good stuff to make you go to sleep, anxiety, all that stuff. Please check us Sounds out great. Happy Buds Brooklyn on IG, and we're also in the Bedside area. So we're like seven minutes from Hatton Pork. So when happy you come Buds. To New York, I love happy that. Buds. Sound yeah. like some happy weed. And that over Happy Buds. Hold on, let me get my let me get my Yamin together, baby. Get it together. So when you come to New York, you gotta come check out Happy Buds. And I have big news coming too in your part of town, which Miami, hopefully soon, I'm going to be able to kind of spread some really good news. We're not opening up a store, anybody, so please. So, so. so here's here about store. cheers. Cheers! Oh, we're getting the whole house tour too, guys. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> here, here, here's the happy cork, um, happy bud. Happy buds. And I promise you that I'm going to come to an in-store, and I will definitely make that happen this year at some point. Yes! Cheers! I love the fact I was going to do an Uncle Nearest last, too. Listen, this is the best. Every time I drink, my wife's like, where's mine? No, no, no. Um, just the first sip alone, you're like, oh. I might have debuted your, can- uh, your candle for, like, one second. But that's a good thing, because what if we get it in Happy Park and Happy Buds? Yes, yeah, she wants to sell them in Happy Cork and Happy Bud. See? 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 See the power of connecting? See that? Well, I appreciate your time. I'm rooting for you. Black women will save the planet. Thank you for your time. Listen, this was beautiful. I love the fact that we got to chat. You heard him, guys. He's going to do an in-store, so we're going to hold him to it. Okay? Definitely. If everyone's yep. drinking with us, cheers! I love virtual chairs, guys. All right, beautiful. Listen, we'll talk later, and this was awesome. Thank you. My and pleasure. everybody that's not following Kenny Burns, you need to follow the Lifestyle Specialist because he will be your whole lifestyle experience, just like we do. So definitely follow Kenny Burns, guys. And thank you! This is awesome. Too. All right. We're going to do it again, in store, in store. A- absolutely. Mwah. Bye. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. This was awesome. Oh, BK all day. Guys, I'm sorry I didn't get to read any of the comments because it's so far from me. And as I said, I'm the only one here. So, I'm sorry. But uh, I'm so happy everybody's throwing up, like, blessings and congratulations and stuff. Thank you, guys. And definitely, oh look, that was so much love. Oh, thank you everyone. Bye. And don't forget, check out Happy Buds. Follow us on IG, Happy Buds Brooklyn. And also, 
we have a website, happybudsdk.com. So check that out. You guys will not be disappointed. It's so beautiful. I don't want to cheat on Happy Court, but it's definitely the sister. Woo! That is beautiful. Oh, I love you guys. Thank you. Okay, congratulations. Thank you. Oh, and my earrings. House of Topper. My jewelry. House of Topper. Guys, thank you. Follow Happy Buzz. Follow to Happy Court if you're not following us already. Because you just do some dope shit in this list. Um, but thank you. <laughs> Live has ended. So get your Happy Buzz blended with some oats. And you know, a Jamaican style, we putting some oats into that, and we getting a spoon, and we adding some Lasco vanilla cream, um, Lasco vanilla, um, soya milk, wow, yes, the Lasco vanilla soya milk, we adding some of that to that, and getting the oats, right? And we we may just add some sugar so that we can stretch it like you know probably add some cold water like you know like that is just one thing that we can do with this right here because I don't think like there's no much alcoholic beverage um, volume of, of alcohol in it maybe a small portion However, I'm sure it's nice, you know. Yeah, so you y'all go get your happy buds and support Happy Cork. You rocking with Congo B C O N G O space B E E. Look for me and subscribe, like, comment, share. Y'all know 